I got some on my nose. As you can see, we've got a lot to talk about. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this video. My name is Megs, and today we're gonna to be talking about healthy skincare products. Skincare products that are actually good for your skin and that your skin will actually benefit from. So I'm gonna be showing you some skincare products that I have started using, and I will be showing you my skincare routine, step by step, what I do to have healthier and overall better skin. You may not know this, but the skin is actually the biggest organ that the human body has, and it absorbs whatever is put on it. And unfortunately nowadays, lots of the products and creams and low lotions and washes that we are using are filled with those toxins. So in this video, I'm going to be covering all the bases for skincare. This includes makeup remover, face wash, toner, lotion. I'll even be touching on eyelash and eyebrow serums and how to get rid of your acne naturally. Now for some skincare products, I'm going to be providing two options. So one's going to be a slightly more expensive version and then the other is going to be a more affordable version that can be easily found usually in drugstores or online. All the products that I will be showing you in today's video will be linked in the description box down below. So I did research and look into skincare products that I could use that would work for me and here are my favorites that are a part of my actual skincare routine. However, before we get started, I did want to show you this cool little trick that I found. So it's actually an app that's available on your phone. It's called the Think Dirty app. So what the Think Dirty app does is it basically breaks down what is found in money of the regular everyday skincare products that you will find on the market. So you can either search the name or scan the barcode of a product and it's going to break down ingredient by ingredient what exactly is in it. It's going to explain to you what this ingredient does and it also rates the product on a scale of 0 to 10. 0 being the healthiest possible product and 10 being unhealthy or full of toxins and full of bad stuff. So if you just want to become a little more conscious of what you're using or just what kind of products you have and whether they're actually good for you, definitely give the Think Dirty app a go. So my morning and nighttime routine are fairly similar. I do do the same steps throughout. I just don't use makeup remover in the morning, obviously, but makeup remover is important. So taking up all the dirt, all the makeup on your face at the end of every day is very important just to make sure that your skin fully gets clean, doesn't leave any gucky stuff on there, and then the rest of the products that you're using well, they'll be able to work their best. What I use for makeup remover, and it is just like, one of those products that you can find so many uses for is coconut oil. So coconut oil, not only can you use it for like cooking and baking and like whitening your teeth and a lotion, it also makes for a really great and all natural makeup remover. What I do with coconut oil is I'll either just take a scoop in my hand and rub it in between my fingers, put it all over my face, and then for my eyes, I'll usually take it on a cotton pad and just rub away all the makeup. It does such a wonderful job. It also leaves your skin very hydrated. I mean, it's like the all-in-one. This jar costs like $15 maybe, and it's gonna last you so long, like you can't go wrong. So next, I cleanse my face. So for cleansers, I do have two options. So the first one is this cleanser from Juice Beauty. So it is the Blemish Clearing Cleanser. And I got this at Sephora. So this is actually part of the Clean at Sephora line. If you haven't heard of that, what that is is basically like Sephora will just tell you the products that they're selling that are natural and healthy and clean. So they usually have this little like green icon. So it's like a little green circle and I think it has a check mark. In the store that is near my house, I go and there's just like a section that says clean at Sephora and then all the products have this little green seal on them and they're all just like natural skincare products. They have it online as well. So if you do shop at Sephora, that is a good place to start if you're looking for more natural and healthy products. So again, this is the Juice Beauty Blush Clearing Cleanser. It's made with all organic ingredients. It smells phenomenal. Like just smells healthy. Oh, I got some on my nose. Comes with a pump. So much convenience there because I love pumps. And yeah, I usually use this in the morning. It's a nice gentle cleanser that wakes my skin up and is really nice. Next is an OG. This is a product that I've been using for years on my skin and it has done such good wonders. I think it does give me a very, very good clean. And I usually use this at night after I take off my makeup. And it is the St. Ives Facial Scrubs. They are paraben free, dermatologist tested, cruelty free, and oil free. And they are made with 100% natural exfoliant. This is my favorite one currently. It is the avocado and honey scrub. They have like a bunch of different, you can't call them flavors, but they have a bunch of different scents. But they have a green tea one that I also love, which is really good for blackheads. And then they have like a peach one, a coffee one. And on the back, they do have like different levels of exfoliation. So they have gentle, moderate, or deep. I like to use the moderate one. 
I know there's lots of saying of like, oh, you're not supposed to exfoliate your face every day, but I honestly use this every night, sometimes even in the morning, and I find that it just gets such a good job done of cleaning my face. I love it, and it's super affordable. You can't go wrong. And then to make sure that I get the most out of my face wash and that I cleanse my face fully and get all my makeup off because you want to get all that nasty stuff off, you want to get all the sweat and dirt off your face so that way the products that you use after can work their magic and actually do what they're supposed to do. So in order to achieve that, I use my Duval cleansing brush. So yeah, this brush is by the brand Duval. It does come with five different cleansing brushes. So this first one is like your regular everyday cleanser. Then it comes with an exfoliating head. And then there's the pumice applicator, crude polish accessory. Oh my God, so many things. And last but not least, they have a body brush. So it's just a bigger brush that you can use on your body. So like I said, I use this brush day and night. It comes with this lovely little stand. You just plop it right on top of your bathroom sink. That way you remember to use it because if it doesn't have a stand, chances are I'm gonna put it away into a drawer and never remember to use it. But this handy dandy little stand just reminds me every day that I gotta use my brush. So if you'd like to try out this spin care system for yourself, go to www.duval.com and type in code MAGSWIJELSKI at checkout for 70% off this spin care system. So it comes with all five heads and the brush itself. Again, that's code MAGSWIJELSKI at checkout for 70% off. Alrighty, and next we're talking toner. So toner just helps to get all that extra off of your skin, get everything nice and toned and smoothed out and looking cute. So for that, once again, I have two options. The first one is from a Canadian company that makes all natural skincare products. It's called Rocky Mountain Soap Company. So this is their Aloe and Frankincense Hydrating Toner. It's 100% natural and toxin free. And it comes in a spray bottle, cause who doesn't love it? Who doesn't love a toner in a spray bottle? Super easy, just after cleansing, just spritz, 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 ready to go. I like to use this one in the morning because it's quicker than the other one that I'm gonna show you. But yes, nice and quick, refreshing. It smells super earthy, I guess because the aloe and the frankincense. So that just makes it smell nice and healthy. And they do have a bunch of different scents for the toner. The reason I chose aloe and frankincense is because I do find that my skin does tend to get a little irritated and red with the dryness and the wind that we have here in Canada, especially in the winter. So the aloe just has a very nice, calm and cooling effect on my skin. I do really love this product. I genuinely think it smells delicious and it just works really well. For the second alternative, also another OG, there's Natural Remedies Witch Hazel Toner. This toner has been raved about by many people and rightfully so. I have gone through probably like three or four bottles of this already. It is great. It definitely gets off all those extra dirt from your skin and really is just gentle and helps your skin out. This one doesn't come in a spray bottle, so I just squirt it out onto a cotton pad. And this is usually my nighttime toner because I do like to just have a little bit more, I guess, and just to be able to wipe it off, just wipe everything off. And it does a great job of that. So this is paraben free, gluten free, it cleanses and it tones. They do also have a bunch of different flavors, scents, I don't know, but they have like rose, cucumber, lavender. I just use the original one, but they all work well and they all smell delicious. And once I tone my face, now it's time to put on some lotion so I can have the moisture put back into my skin. And for that, once again, there are two options. The first one is once again by Rocky Mountain Soap Company and it is their pomegranate day cream. This is great for the morning because you put it on, you smell fresh, you feel fresh and just the smell just makes you feel healthy. And I really like this lotion because it is thick enough that it does a nice job of keeping my skin moisturized, but it's also thin enough that I can wear it under makeup and it's not gonna make my skin super shiny and it's not gonna make my skin look super oily and greasy. So I do love this, fresh skin, it's amazing. And another alternative, which is a wonderful product as well I have been using, I use this a lot back in high school, is by the brand Simple. So it is the Kind to Skin Replenishing Rich Moisturizer 12 hour moisturization. Moisturization. This again has no artificial perfume or color, no harsh chemicals that upset your skin. And it is meant for sensitive skin. And the great thing about the brand Simple is that it is available in most drugstores. I did pick this up at Walmart, I believe. It doesn't really have a scent, which I like because sometimes you just don't want 
it is also like a thinner consistency which is nice under makeup or just when you have sensitive skin you obviously don't want to put too much on it and the good thing with this bottle is you don't have to drip your finger in a jar and get lotion under our nails because we all know we hate getting lotion under our nails you can just squirt some on your hand and you get to go next is a step that i recently started doing because you know i turned 23 I'm now old. All that just to say I use eye cream. An eye cream that I found at a store called Portia Ella. So that's just a store that sells all natural skincare products. This is from the brand OM Organics. And it is their Bilberry Balm Antioxidant Eye Concentrate. And you just put it on your fingers, on your ring finger, your middle finger, and you just dab it around your eyes. I do that every night before I go to bed. This is my thicker one, so I like to put this on before bed. I have found that it is not the greatest under concealer. I find that it makes my concealer a little bit cakey. So I tend not to use this in the morning. I don't even know if you're supposed to use eye cream in the morning, to be honest. Are you? So my more affordable alternative to that is the Burt's Bees Eye Cream with Royal Jelly. So Burt's Bees is another company that is absolutely wonderful. They do have lots of skincare products that range from like face washes to face creams to body creams to different things like that. They also have makeup and Burt's Bees is a company that does use more natural and healthy products. So if you are looking just to get started in healthier skincare, you can just head over to your local drugstore and chances are they'll have like a full stock of Burt's Bees things. And they are fairly priced easy to find and yeah Burt's Bees for the win. Next is lashes and brows. So I feel like most of us are usually chasing a thicker eyebrow or a longer eyelash. If you're one of those people well the holy grail of everything is castor oil. This castor oil is from Heritage Store. It's a Palmer Christie castor oil. I bought this off of Amazon and look I have been using this for a while and I'm only like up to here. So this massive bottle literally lasts you forever. This is like basically what made my eyelashes and eyebrows grow back nice and thick after chemotherapy treatment. They came back fairly quickly. I was really surprised. But basically what I did with this is at night after doing everything, basically the last step would be just to squirt a little bit onto the palm of my hand and either with a spoolie, I would just rub it onto the spoolie and comb through my eyelashes or I would rub it on my fingers and then just gently massage my eyebrows and my eyelashes just to get it really in there and then let it soak in and like I said, worked wonders for me. And last but not least, even if we're past the acne stage or whether we're not, we'll still get a damn pimple when we least need it or expect it. Something that I do use when I do get a pimple here and there is tea tree oil. So this tea tree oil is by the brand Holista and I do get it at Costco. This massive bottle literally will last you like a year or half a year depending how much you use it. But tea tree oil actually has a million different uses. It's a really good antiseptic. So you can use it for any type of topical infections and stuff like that, aka acne. What I do with this is I just do this as a spot treatment. Tea tree oil is very strong and very potent. So put a little bit on a cotton pod or a little bit on a Q-tip and just rub it on the spot. However, if it is your first time using tea tree oil or if you have sensitive skin, I highly, highly recommend diluting it with some water because like I said, it's pretty strong and you don't wanna burn your skin. It does also have a pretty strong smell to it. But it's an all-natural way to help your acne, so you win some, you lose some. Oh, See, I told you those was a lot of products to cover, but like I said, all the products that I mentioned in today's video will be in the description box down below so you can easily find them. But I just want to stress again the importance of taking care of your skin, the importance of taking care of the organ that absorbs stuff into your body. If you're putting healthy and good things on top of your body and inside of your body, well, it's only going to benefit you in the future, right? So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. But for now, that is all. So know yourself, know your body, and until next time.